Welcome in Holland. In this lesson, I will show you how to apply a depth of field look to your GoPro footage. My name is Niels and welcome to the first video of this channel. This video is shot on GoPro and GoPro Karma. Welcome in Adobe After Effects. I already imported my footage. I clicked on File Import File. Then I right mouse clicked and create composition from selection. In our newly created composition, I already applied some basic color grading to the footage. And our next step is to create a black solid. So navigate to layer new and then solid and make sure the settings are set to the same size as your composition. In this case 920 by 1080. Our next step is to apply a gradient ramp on the solid. So with the solid selected, go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. When it comes to applying depth of field blur in post-production, we have to tell the software what part of the image is close to the camera and what part is in the distance. The white color represents everything close to the camera and the black color everything in the distance. So in this case the horizon. So now we have to line up our gradient with our drone video. Our first step is to make our black solid invisible by clicking on the eye on the left side. And navigate to view and show rulers. Now drag a ruler all the way down to the horizon of your video. Like this. To match it up. And... With that being said, let's turn on the visibility again of our solid. And with the solid selected and your gradient ramp effect, you see two circles appear on the top and the bottom of your screen. Now drag the top one down to the ruler, like this. And let's see. Let's turn off the rulers again and get rid of this guy. And somehow our 2D blur will not recognize this as a black and white texture. So we have to pre-compose our black solid. So select it and go to layer, pre-compose. Give it a name, like blur map. And click OK. And make sure move all attributes into new composition is selected. Disable the visibility of your blur map by clicking on the eye again. And right now we go to layer, new adjustment layer. So let's rename this guy. Let's call it depth of field. With our depth of field layer selected, we go to effect, blur and sharpen camera lens blur. So if we crank up the blur radius from five to 20, we see our image gets completely blurred. We can now apply our blur map here. It's where it says layer, we can set it from none to blur map. That's our newly created composition. And the foreground is blurred and the background is in focus. So we want to change that. And we can do that by blur focal distance. And here we can decide what area of the image should be in focus and which one should be out of focus. That's how you apply a depth of field look to your drone videos. If you want to export your video, go to File, Export, uh, to Render Queue and click on a lossless. Now select your favorite format and mine is QuickTime. Select the destination, which one is my desktop and click on render. I hope you enjoyed this video and more videos coming soon. So stay tuned and hopefully until next time. Later.